I drink about a gallon of water a day. I guess it's a healthy habit. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Okay, so I thought I would talk about lighting today, or the importance of lighting. The importance, the importance of good lighting. I mentioned before setting up your camera and uh, the importance of getting your ISO and your shutter speed and your aperture all set. The next important thing when it comes to making videos is your lighting. Is your lighting good? Is it bad? It'll make or break a video. And as you can see right here, we're just playing around with some lighting. I thought I would talk about my lighting setup and hopefully give you some tips to help improve your videos, whether you're doing a vlog, a Zoom call, or something where you need to film a talking head person. It's always good to make sure your lighting is dialed in. Now, I'm going to, real quick, I'm gonna kill all the lights that I have. And uh, you'll see what I'm talking about when it comes to lights and how important it is. So at the start of this video, it's, um, well, we, we don't have any lights. And so I like to use, th sorry, I'll bring myself back. I like to use three lights in my lighting setup. One light, we're gonna call this our subject light, or I believe it's referred to as a key light. Don't quote me on that. I'm not a professional, so I don't know the actual professional terms, but we're gonna call this our key light. And this is pointed right at our subject. And so you can see with our subject or key light pointed right at me, you see I have a lot of light concentrated on this side of my face, and this side of my face is dark. Now, if you wanna do some dramatic lighting effects, this would be good to use for sort of a dramatic look. But for our talking head piece, we're not really interested in that. We want to fill the room with light. And so I have what I like to call a fill light. This is light number two, and this is pointed off to the side, and that throws nice warm light on this side of the room. And you can see, just with two lights going, how my face has a cooler light on this side, and a warmer temperature light on this side. And I think it does a pretty good job of illuminating my face for the point of these vlogs. So with two lights, you can light your subject pretty well and it does a pretty good job. I think the videos, for the most part, a lot of mine have just been these two lights. But I like to use a third light. You saw me playing with this earlier. This is a little puck light that I have and that throws a nice purple hue onto the background. Now I can adjust that light and I can do any color that I want, but for some reason, I really feel like that purple kind of pops and I like the way it looks. So I have three lights going. I have my subject light, light number one, I have my fill light, background light, light number two, and then I have this sort of accent or ambiance light, light number three. So with three lights, you can light up your entire set and make it look pretty cool, and you can adjust the settings of the different lights to achieve different looks, and it's all about the lights. One of the reasons why I like to play around with lighting is because I have a blue light filter on my glasses. And when the light shines directly at my face, it lights up that blue light filter and you can't even see my eyes. And it makes me look kind of weird. So I have all these different lights positioned in different angles to help throw light around the room, to help light up my face and my body in different points. And uh, yeah, that's my lighting setup. So if you're looking to sort of up your game when it comes to your talking head vlog pieces, Invest in some lights. They don't have to be super expensive lights. I have a Amazon ring light that I found that has an adjustable knob. I'll put a link in the description. I actually have a light designed to, you put a heat lamp in it and you put it above like chickens. It's meant to use in like a hatchery. I actually am using it um, for my vlogs. I just have a regular incandescent bulb in it. And then I have a little puck light here that's my accent lighting. So there you go, three inexpensive lights that will help improve the quality of your vlogs. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for joining along.